got a bit of a low screen. Let's do it on the, uh, let's do Snow Forest. Oh, that's all you, buddy. That is all me. All right. My bad, everybody. And it's actually the Deadwoods. The Deadwoods. Thank you. Oh, Thank you. Deadwoods. Like we said before, not everything is final. Right. No. No. Living Forest, Deadwoods. Makes sense. Yeah. There we go. Uh, uh so nope. Don't <laughs> stop talking. Don't you? We know you. We have fought before, Constant. Memory is gone. Round one. Fine. All right, now let's go ahead and start with uh, like we've talked about before. Every single Mortal Kombat character, you still have that flavor that's always been there with characters, and each variation adds a little little touch to yeah. it. So let's talk about the stuff they share within. Exactly. So uh, common moves with Katana, her probably most signature move as a series, are fan toss. There we go. Yeah. Uh, that one's really effective. You do the EX version, you get a double fan toss, uh, and you can also do an air version of that. Uh, the air version is. One of her core moves, especially for combos, because it suspends mm -hmm. characters in the air for a while. Absolutely. Uh, you know, that's kind of some classic katana combo building, right. uh, if you will. You also got your fan lift. Uh, uh, big combo starter for, for katana. Yeah, exactly. You know, uh, you'll notice it's visually changed, too, from like the MK9 yeah, mm -hmm. and the classic fan lift. It actually looks more like a, a tornado or yeah, a vortex. I really like the style on that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so that one's uh, really effective. We're, uh, we are in Royal Storm right Royal now. Royal Storm right now, yeah. yeah. That one actually has a little bit different variation. Of Which we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to yeah, that exactly. part. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But it's this one will look a little bit different if you see it. And like we talked with Spiro as well, mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to telling characters apart, mm -hmm. this version has the uh, glowing sticks. The glowing sticks in her hair and yep. it's maskless. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, let's go through some other shared sure. moves. She's got her, uh, she's got her, oh, we got the, the hover, I guess, yeah, the like little hover flow. move. Uh, that move is deceptively complex and uh, really useful, because not only can you use it to dodge projectiles when you're across the screen from someone, but you can also follow up with attacks afterwards. Right. So you can do things like jump in, and so I can do, like, float, yeah, exactly. Or, you know, you can attack, and then float, and then, and, right. and then attack. There's a ton of possibilities. So yeah, it definitely can kind of trick the opponent into mm -hmm. thinking you're going to land, mm -hmm. you don't land. Exactly, yeah. exactly. So, yeah, a lot of utility in that one. Uh, uh, we also have... We the fan, yeah. yeah. That move is uh, very good anti-air. Mm -hmm. uh, you can meter burn, of course, to get the you know extra damage out of that one as well. Um, I like to use it when I get knocked down. Mm -hmm. I like to use it kind make of a wake attack. Yeah. yeah. Joel, sorry about that. Just yeah. want to make sure everybody saw his X-ray again. Yeah. yeah. So this is what happens. Yeah. Just want to. It's your contribution. Well, you yeah. know, I, I didn't have much to say there for That's a second, right. so That's I figured right. I would just impose it. Okay. Oh, let me mention something real quickly before I forget. Uh, all that concept art you just saw on the stream, if you look at NetherRealm's Twitter right now, our community manager, Rigo, has put up a link to our Tumblr page so you can tear apart the stuff even more. Yes. So, <laughs> which we're excited about. Am uh, I forgetting anything else for common specials? There's one more uh, that's new, a little new. We got a... Uh, oh, yeah, the throat slice. Throat slice. Yeah, that moves really fast. It's a really good combo in there. Yeah. Again, you can uh, meter burn for a little bit more damage. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's it, that one's a good all-around, like... You know, I'm finishing off our juggle. I want to threaten space kind of in mid screen. It comes up so fast that you kind of always have to be watching out. So, yeah, you can definitely, like, I, I like to use the enders and such, like this, which Tyler, I missed. Yeah. So, whatever. Tyler, don't show off all your goods. Sorry, yeah, yeah. I need to yeah, stop doing come that. Come on, come on. But and we also talk, you know, those who don't play fighting games a lot, um, there's, a, there's a term we use called footsies. Yes. And footsies is kind of a way to always be sort of like in the range where your best move is right near them. So, mm -hmm. this move. Her, her, that the, the this move right there is great when you're just yeah. at mid screen trying to fake them out a little bit and then boom you. Yeah, if you can predict where they're going to be, that's a very yeah. dangerous move you can throw. And if they're trying to back dash yeah. on you, you can easily catch them there. Exactly. A lot of utility for that move. Now let's kind of go into Royal Storm's mm. differences. Yeah, Royal Storm was probably my favorite trait of uh, all okay. three of hers. Which I think is funny because oh yeah, everyone was always like, oh well, there'll just be one trait everybody likes. Yeah. Absolutely untrue. Because uh, yeah. you're like you like Royal Storm. Yeah, you like one of the other ones. My favorite is Assassin. Yeah. Like that because that's sort of how I like to play. Yeah. Although I've found matchups mm -hmm. where I like using Royal Storm. Exactly. So. Exactly. It, it's. I think the reason I like this one so much it has so much utility. Mm -hmm. There's uh, all of her new moves in this one kind of have a lot of really different functions. And so, uh, like, it's the first one you can show is the new fan. So that like, one has additional range. Right. Range. I can get regular. I can get it about mid screen. Mm -hmm. But if I'm full screen. And I EX it, yeah. it is a full screen. And then from across the screen, you can be throwing fans, yep. air fans, follow up on combos, all sorts of options. So that's super effective. Then you have the square wave. Right. Uh, which is yeah, square wave attack. Great for getting in or also getting away. Yep. 
Uh, I'd um, say this this version of her has the most airborne moves. She yeah. has the, the float. She's got the square wave in the air. She's got the fan toss. You can build a lot of combos that way. I would say this move really controls mm -hmm. the controls everything above you. Yeah. Very very exactly. She's very threatening if uh, you jump. You don't you don't necessarily want to jump yeah. mindlessly. She also has this, um, which. Derek, I believe. I picked somebody without a projectile. Picked a character oh, without a projectile. Yeah. We, can, we can kind of. Don't apply. worry, we'll see it later. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah. This this is one of the best reflex I've ever seen in a fighting yeah. game. So you can actually hold it down. Yeah. So if, like, so you were talking earlier to me about Cassie Cage. Yeah, Cassie Cage has a her EX gunshot move, uh, has multiple projectiles. You don't just reflect one, you can reflect all three back and right. keep holding it or timing it correctly. And, uh, yeah, it's any character that is throwing multiple attacks at you that are projectiles, you right. can be incredibly dangerous across the screen. So this whole build could be kind of effective as a zoning build, right? Mm -hmm. If you're, you know, throwing different kinds of projectiles out and uh, bouncing stuff back. Mm -hmm. I like to use it as like an anti-zoning build. So if someone's trying to just stay away from me, I can build say, you mean variation. Yeah, variation. Right. Sorry. No problem. Uh, yeah. So I can use a variation, this variation to say, no, you can't just stay away from me. You have to come at me and then I'm controlling the game. Now. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Let's move on to the next one. Oh, and as you can see, in the corner we have Goro. We are not going to select him today. No. I know that will disappoint some people. Well, we at least put him on screen for you. We to did. See. There is his character. Yeah. Uh, we'll be showing Goro really soon because um, I get I get so many tweets about Goro. Hashtag punchwalk. Hashtag punchwalk. Yeah. So we won't. It's go two together. things you need to do in a fighting game, but you can do them together. Punch and walk. Yeah. Yeah. So Genius. Let's, let's go to is. let's do some outworld marketplace for this. All right. Now this is a, this is the one that I actually, as you know, through Twitter, if you've been following me and Derek's uh, beef, I've been doing a lot of practicing. Mm -hmm. I stay late in practice. Mm -hmm. I've been practicing a lot with the assassin variant. You mean you've wasted a lot of time? No, I do my work during the day and I stay late to practice. Okay, all right. So thank you, dear. Yeah, you're welcome. So the assassin. Now we got some. Oops. As we talk. And you are weaker as a result. Round one. You did not see the face <laughs> that just gave you. Eventually, people are going to may have to deal with it occasionally, and I will keep talking. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I know, right? So this one, the visual indicator, is she has some black uh, again across her eyes. And she has the mask on. One of my favorite visuals, I think, of all her three variations. I love, I love the look. It's it's sort of it's it's dark. Very assassiny. Very assassiny. Mm -hmm. uh, tough word to spell. Yeah. Um, so this we add um, a couple of neat things. She has a parry, mm -hmm. which she can hold down. Yeah. And that's not a projectile parry like her no. reflex move. It uh, also like if, if you ooh. Yeah. If you'll do a low, she won't hit that either. Yeah, exactly. So you have to you have to read your opponent really well. Mm -hmm. You have to kind of know what's coming. But if you can predict, that move is a right. great way to limit someone who's just throwing stuff out willy nilly. Because you know, there's a lot of people out there who just love push a lot of buttons, get on top of you really quick. Yeah. And you throw that out there, they're gonna start thinking twice about doing exactly. it. Exactly. Exactly. Good wake up option. Uh, a couple things. Which, let's show sharpen real quick. Yeah, sharpen gives you additional damage. So you that on your fans. On, on your on yeah. all of your fan based attacks. No, it's it's, uh, it's time based. Yes, exactly. Uh, and it also has an additional property once we show the next move. Right. That's what I'm gonna do right now. My the thing that makes me really love the assassin variation, it's kinda of one of my favorite moves in the game, mm -hmm. I'm gonna say. And like let's say you're there, she can run and hit him right in the head. Yeah. So if they if they whiff a move full screen or you duck something, it's so fast that it, it can really punish your opponents in that She's way. Just gonna take out your eyes real quick. Every yeah. single time. But in conjunction with sharpen, now when you do this, you don't need a bar of meter to do that. Yeah. Normally because you usually can use I should have yeah. shown that first. Yeah. That's so this yeah. is the meter inversion right here. Yeah. Or EX version. While your blades are sharpened, you don't you have get to that for free. You get it for, yeah. free. for free. And you can also do things like, as you finish a combo, instead of netting a damage, you can actually do a sharpen as your last. One yeah, thing I love to do combo, is, yeah. after this, I generally will get, since he's down for long, I can get a sharpen. Mm, exactly. Right away. So you got to really pick your time, because it takes time to do. So that, those are her variations. They really change yeah. up the way she plays. Yeah, this one, uh, she can be very rushed down. Mm -hmm. You can use that assassinate move to kind of punish someone across the screen if they're just kind of you know, doing something stupid out there. Uh, you can also uh, probably net the most damage, I would say, out of your combos, like any variation that she has. So yeah, if you're offensive, you want to get big damaging combos, you want to keep the pressure up, this is right. an option. And the EX version also has armor on it when it first sounds started up too, so yeah. if you're trying to get through like a projection or whatnot, just EX and run right through. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I think we got one more to show. Yep. Showing off the swaggy combos. Not that swaggy, but yeah. <laughs> now we've got a lot of tweets. Um, real quick, I just gotta say something. Um, 
We're doing something we don't, we've never really done before. We're doing a character unreveal. Mm, yes. We're taking. Be, we're going to tell you a character now that will not show up in the game. Havoc. Can't say anything about that. I mean, I mean, did. Yeah, he just did. So yeah. maybe, maybe not. Uh, Jade oh. will not be in Mortal Kombat X. Can we have a moment of silence moment for of silence. Jade? I think we're good there. Um, so the mournful variation takes special attacks from Jade, and Kitana uses them. Mm -hmm. It's because you know she's she's sad. She has lost her friend, and now she's taken up her mantle and mm -hmm. uses her weapons to kind of help Honor. her live on. Yeah. So really. Jade's spirits in the game. Yeah. And right here in my heart. You seek a challenge. Yes, but you will do. Ooh, that snap. Yeah. So here she has some Jade esque moves. Now, yeah. we talked about the fans earlier. Yeah, exactly. So. We said she had some projectile variations mm -hmm. from one to the other. This one uses uh, the glaive from Jade. Uh, and you can throw that out straight. You can also uh, tilt the move up and down. Right. And get and hit the targets above, the targets below, Oops. Oh, and there, we there go. you go. Oh, there it yeah. is. So you can throw, throw that low, throw that high. Um, but you can also do an airborne version as well. So you can kind of you control space a little bit differently. You don't have as much horizontal control, but you control a pretty significant right. portion of the screen with that horizontal uh, air blade. Right. Uh, you also have a very effective uh, version of that in the meter burn version that is active for a really long time. They bring yeah. it right back to you. Exactly. So, you know, far away, you can get combos. When they're a little bit closer, people right. have to deal with that for a long time. It's on the screen for a long time. So, mm -hmm. great way to control space and keep the person locked down that you're trying right. to. Right. Basically, the, a lot of the same properties as Jade from MK9. Exactly. So, if you were familiar with her in MK9, it, there's not a lot of differences here. Yeah. yeah. And the uh, mm -hmm. the air version of that also has the boomerang effect, uh, which is, I think also scores you a knockdown. Yeah, I don't have meter right now. I have to do a little trick here. Uh, there just, we go. Just press as many buttons as possible. Yeah, that's so, yeah. <clears throat> Not in the final yeah. game, and I'm missing. It helps it. if you hit it too. Yeah, it really yeah, does. Yeah, yeah. That's down to knock. I'm not very good at that either. So. Yeah. You learned that I'm not either. Yeah. Uh, we also have. Yeah. We have this, yeah, the, the grab from her uh, stack. Oh, let's not call it a grab, it's on block. Right. Uh, Oh. oh, there we go. Remember, That's an x-ray. X-ray yeah. for Jay. And we want to show off everything of yep. Katana's, even the x-ray. Mm -hmm. Right. When you least expect it. My bad, everybody. I'm going to get that round. You, you, Thanks. You, you, you Makes a lot. One. So that's a really good, uh, another good combo ender. Uh, you can also, yeah. Uh, yeah, the meter burn version. That you'll extra damage. And a very painful one. Oh. And she also has a shadow kick here, which exactly. you can also... Yeah, keep pressure up. Yeah, so if you're if you're a fan of Jade and some of her play styles, then you can pull a little bit of that back mm -hmm. in. That's who you like in K9. There we go. Yeah. So that is uh, those are all the sort of variations of Katana. You'll be seeing them a little bit later because Derek and I have our battle coming very soon. Whew. I'm excited. Before then, though, we'd like to go and show you some reptiles. Some reptiles.